Hello everybody, I'm TTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at how to create our first roller coaster and it's going to be a square coaster. As you can see I've already done two things. I've created a new plugin, oh actually three things, three things. I've created a new plugin which I register events to the main class. You do not have to register them to the main class but just for simplicity's sake I do it. And in that I do a player interact at entity event just as the last time with the power punch. And I check if the entity is instant of armor stand. And next to that I've also created a new class at extends bucket runnable. If you don't know what I'm doing over here go look. Uh, go look up my videos and watch them about the bucket runnables and inside of here there is a constructor for the square coaster as well which gets the entity okay we're gonna make the roller coaster with velocity so we're not gonna teleport play around or something like that we're gonna make it with velocities and then a player will move uh, as a passenger of a moving armor stand so of course that's why we checked if the instance of armor stand is over there and what we want to do with the armor stand, first we want to do over here entity, uh, which is going to be the armor stand. And then what we want to do within the constructor, we want to set stand equal to entity. And there's a couple of things uh, I want to keep track of. First, let's keep track of how uh, the, the seconds. So we're going to do int t, which equals zero at the start. And I would also like to keep track of what stage we are. I'm going to explain this in a second. But uh, we want to keep track of the time. So T, the ticks or the amount of time the uh, plugin has run. The, the class has run. And I'm going to do that with 20 times a second. So 20 ticks. Uh, it's just each tick this will execute. And what we want to keep track of is stage as well, because the roller coaster will exist out of multiple stages, a straight stage, a bend, uh, a looping, etc, etc, etc. Today we're only going to focus on a straight piece, but it also needs to have four straight pieces to make a square. And because of that we need to keep track of the stage. And next to that we also want to have a double for our x value for the velocity double for the y value and a double for the z value and i'm just going to start with them at zero now that we have created all the needed variables we of course need to uh, set up something in our run uh, method and over here in our run method we of course want at the end to increase time with one and that's just simply done with t plus plus and what we want to do is we want to define um, velocity changes so we want to define the X for a current stage and we want to say at which time the stage starts well uh, for our square I want to first move uh, on the X axis on the positive X axis with one uh, yeah with a velocity of one so over there so if we are gonna check if stage is equal to zero then what we want to do is we want to have the x equal to 1, we want the y to be equal to 0, and we want the z to be equal to 0 as well. But now these are just numbers, so they don't do anything. And that's because we did not set any velocity, it's just like in the last video. We're just going to get the entity and set the velocity to a new vector, which is going to consist out of x y and z and this may not be the most efficient way to build a roller coaster or the most lag proof but it's the easiest and i think it's quite fun if you just want to mess around with it you can also improve on it by uh, decreasing the tick rate etc etc okay so now over here we have if stage equals zero um, then we set the x to one the y to zero and the z to zero and i actually wanted to move five blocks and um, over here, so inside the roller coaster, we first need to call our uh, square coaster and we want to do it each tick. So, what we are going to do is we're going to store an int, in which I'm just going to call cart, which equals, and then we're going to do um, get server dot get uh, scheduler dot schedule 
then we're gonna do an async repeating task uh, async repeating task plugin is gonna be this the runnable is gonna be a new square coaster new square coaster and it's gonna be with the end uh, the first long is the delay which I'm gonna set to zero ticks why is it not working correctly which I'm gonna set to zero and the last one is gonna be how many time there is between each run and that's gonna be one tick and it will retro uh, throw you a deprecation part okay that's it for setting up the uh, scheduler so it will now just work but we also need to stop it and it's a really a lot of maths so what you want to do is you want to stop it so uh, we're gonna create a new anonymous bucket runnable over here with void run and over here what we want to do is we want to get server dot, dot get scheduler dot cancel task and we want to cancel cart and over here we also want to end dot set velocity to a new vector zero 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 because if the um the roller coaster has ended there is no velocity anymore in the cart so okay um the bucket runnable you want to run task later of course run task later this and the delay will be the length of our track plus one tick because if you do not do plus one tick uh you will not have the cart finish and it will stop just before the end it happened to me i was like figuring out why just do uh the length plus one tick and i know because i've made this tutorial that the length is going to be 30 so uh, i'm just going to add one tick over there you also can type 31 so let's get back into a square coaster and this is where all the experimenting and the changing and the stuff happens it's all fun uh because you need to uh, manually uh, configure your roller coaster. It's going to be a really uh, intense thought process. Not for this one, but if you use multiple things, etc., etc. Because what I want to do is um, with X is one. I want to move five blocks, and now the the, the method is going to run once each tick. And let me tell you, if I put a new vector with an X value of one, and I run it one tick. The end, uh, the the armor stamp will be one block further. So this, if I want to move it five blocks, I will need to run it uh, five ticks. So let's say I want to move it five blocks. Then I need to check if t is equal to five. So if t is equal to five, that means that five seconds have passed, or five ticks. It's one fourth of a second. We want to actually make stage equal to one because uh, then we have move to our first corner and what happens with stage one is if stage equals zero else if stage equals equals one uh, what happens at stage one is that the x will be zero and the y will be zero as well we will not be moving up or down um, that can be a challenge if you like to do it but i'm not going to do it for the sake of this tutorial and what i want to do is now move on the z the z uh, the z direction the z axis in the positive direction um yeah now what if i actually want to move it faster on the x axis in stage zero but i want to move it slowly on the z axis i can just decrease this by uh 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 it will move half a block each tick and uh, that will be 10 blocks each second yeah 10 blocks each second but then to make it move five blocks, I actually have to uh, double the time. So over here, I need to do if t equals equals 15, then we can move it to stage equals two because um, it now has moved five blocks, but twice as slow. And then um, I want to move it again. So else if uh, stage equals equals two, so if stage is equal to two, I want to make x uh, negative 1 because we need to go back, y needs to be 0, and z needs to be 0 as well. And then for the last stage, so if t is 15, it's going to take, um, if t is 15, we need to move to stage 2, and then it's going to do if t equals 20, because we then move 5 blocks uh, further, 
stage equals three and then what we want to do over here the last stage stage equals three and then x equals zero y equals zero and z equals minus 0.5 and that's actually a loop already it will now loop in a uh, loop a square a square a square already it will now move in a square like motion but it will just do it once um, to make it uh, go multiple times we have to add another if statement over here because uh, what we want to do is if t equals 30 or uh, with other words it has ended the journey then what we want to do is stage equals zero and t actually equals zero again because uh, we want to start over we want to we are at the beginning and time is zero again but now to make it loop a second time uh, we actually need to um, yeah give it twice as much time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this by two because this was our track time it's gonna be 30 ticks it's one and a half seconds and I want to execute it twice and of course we need to add one to let it finish now we cancel the task card and that's actually it for the square coaster it's not that hard it's just uh, once you understand this, this is a really easy simple uh, system that you can just uh, go ahead and have fun with this is just a straight part and I'm not even talked about speeding up or slowing down uh, because this, in my opinion, looks kind of ugly uh, because it moves really, um, yeah, it moves, it moves too, it doesn't move smooth enough. So next episode we are going to take a look at uh, how to speed it up or slow it down. Okay, and that's it for the coding part and let's go check this out on the server. See you over there. So we're inside Minecraft now, I've started the server and let's go take a look at our first square roller coaster. And I went ahead and built a little 6x6 six six because what we did is we wanted to have it move by 5 blocks, 5 blocks, 5 blocks, 5 blocks. And that will result in a 6 to 6 square. And it might be uh, seeming that it's cutting off the corners but that's just a render thing. It's not actually cutting off the corners and if I move along you will see it's actually moving uh, the whole thing now it uh, because I pushed it you can push armor stands if they move and That's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more because there's more roller coasters things coming uh, Over there you can see loopings bands etc etc all kinds of crazy stuff and I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box you will find a link to a discord and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.